Is everything fine? Oh my god, it's weird how quiet it is in here while I'm waiting for things to start because I didn't want to like, I don't know, also this is not like a good camera angle. A lot of things happened within the last five minutes. Um, <laughs> that animation is so cute. Thank you, I stole it from somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't, I don't know. I, my brain's already broken um, because I tried to start streaming like, and not even tried to start streaming. I was setting stuff up for streaming, and then all of a sudden, I just didn't have Wi-Fi. Like, the Wi-Fi did not happen. Ah, <sighs> uh, steal till you make it. You're right. Um, but the Wi-Fi just turned off randomly. And I went to over to, like, where my boyfriend was gaming because he was watching, like, uh, YouTube videos. And I'm like, hey, so is your Wi-Fi working? And he's like, yeah, it's fine. Watch. And then we refreshed the page. And then all of a sudden we just didn't have Wi-Fi. Um, so I, un well, we unplugged it, plugged it back in. So hopefully it'll be fine now. But also if I randomly um, am not here while being here, um, that would be why. And the Wi-Fi just randomly cut out again. And I have to go back to the Stone Age and try to figure out how to survive technology. It'll be a good time, but I'm also going to start up. <laughs> Hello, I have accidentally and very poorly copied my friend's identity. That's, that seems completely normal and fine. I, are, is everyone else's personality just not an accumulation of everyone you've ever met and or fictional characters that you've obsessed over for years? Anyway, my entire personality is surrounded by uh, Mabel from Gravity Falls. Anyway, baking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Big Fish. Um, the camera angle's really bad. Let me actually fix it a little bit. I didn't know where to put you guys, because most of today's um, stream is going to be stovetop stuff. I'm also going to start up the TikTok Live. I slightly ignore the TikTok Live so I can focus on you guys. But it's mostly because I want them to come here, because I don't know how to stream on both. Anyway, um, we're making homemade milk duds, which are like the little caramel like the hard ass caramel it's not hard it's chewy caramel but it's so goddamn chewy it almost hurts your jaw just chewing an entire box of milk duds so i'm making milk duds i'm not angry but i just want milk duds i was on a tiktok page when i got the tick <laughs> twitch notification it's so dense there's so many layers you can watch all of the content all of the time i Again, my Wi-Fi just broke. Also, <laughs> hello, uh, people on TikTok. Come on, join me on Twitch. <laughs> um, so let me, is it this one? Question mark? It is. I have the recipe written down as well as the temperatures on how to temper chocolate because I'm going to attempt to temper chocolate. That was. Thing, which has a bunch of onion skin all over it because I had my onions on here, but uh, can't really hear you. Dude, I don't know how to fix it. I have like this nice microphone, but it literally won't let me speak louder than this. Like it keeps yelling at me. It's like, no, it's too loud. I'm like, it's not. I can assure you this is my normal regular speaking voice. Weird. <laughs> but now I just need to scream and annoy my neighbors. I'm so sorry, neighbors. This is where we're at now. Um, I could change it, but I have <laughs> it's so heavy. A marble slab. <laughs> it's just a slab of marble in order to table chocolate on. So I'll put melted chocolate on here, fuck it around a little bit, It'll be a good time. <laughs> Got to figure out how to get it on the table first. There we go. <laughs> oh no. Oh no 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 no. Things 
are happening. I feel like The microphone for some reason is being so weird and as beautiful quality as this is, it's making me upset. <laughs> This one's fine. One and a half pints. 
This is a quart. I need a pint measurement and y'all need to shut up outside. I actually like the computer better because then you can hear. So three fourths of a quart? Yeah, you're right, but it's, nah, I can do it. I, I was thinking it's caramel. I want to be kind of specific with the measurements, but no, no, I don't. Why would I do that? Also, is this is like a very small amount of heavy cream. It's just what I had left. Are you expired? No. It expires in February? I bought this last year. <laughs> Isn't that a fun joke? I bought that heavy cream last year and it's still good. I bought it like five days ago. <laughs> huh. Three cups. Look at us knowing our measurements and our, uh, <laughs> our, I don't know. What would that be called? Math term analogy that I do not understand. Our measurements, our conversions. Conversion was the word I was looking for. Mathematical terms that I do not understand. That's about three-fourths. That's good. All right, so that's the heavy cream I got. Uh, I'm going to use the rest for whipped cream because I used it all up today. That's a tomorrow problem for tomorrow. I need my scale. <laughs> Conversions. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm also tying up my hair because my hair is finally long enough to be tied up. And it's just constantly getting in my face. I mean, it's not long enough to look good when it's tied back. <laughs> like the fucking little... I love it. It's so... <laughs> it looks very interesting, but tying it back. Next, we need sugar. So I'm going to grab another container. Hopefully another one that doesn't smell like peppermint extract. You know, like... It smells fine. Um, it's a little damp inside. I did dishes today, so I think I just put these on top of the stack. How about... Heavy cream has less sugar, so bacteria doesn't grow as fast. That makes sense. But, but, but. Milk products. When it spoils, it becomes sour cream. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. So what you're saying is I just leave heavy cream in a container, in my uh, whipped cream canister for a while, and then I just get sour cream whipped cream. I want to add another cream in there. Um, put some sugar in there, then it's sour, sweet whipped cream. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> All right. Okay. Did you just say I got hit by a dog? Are you okay? <laughs> what does that even mean? How do you get hit by a dog? I'm concerned. And also intrigued. Please tell me a story while I get the sugar, which I need 375 grams. Yoink. Yoink. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Let me tear out the scale, but I still have the giant sugar chunks from last time. So I'm just gonna add those in. I'm gonna break them up, but in the meantime, <laughs> that is... Um, I actually need a little bit more, maybe like you and you. 375, 72, 3, 4, 5. Neat. I got the sugar, I need to mix it up to the best of my ability. <laughs> With what? Who knows? Well, what am I going to be using to mix the caramel? This? <laughs> I feel like this isn't right. I feel like this is not the cor a correct recipe. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have a recipe for, like, soft caramel. I have a recipe for liquid caramel, which is like equal parts. No, it's actually, this might be right now. Maybe, hit me a bit. Probably need something metal to break it up. Or my hands, they're nature's greatest baking tool. <laughs> Just shove your hands in there, it's fine. I wash my hands before I start streaming. <laughs> also, who's eating this besides me and my boyfriend and both of our, <laughs> We have, we have had a lot worse things in our mouth than just my hands. 
Crunch. Crunch. I don't want any chunks because if there's chunks in the caramel, then there's just going to be chunks of sugar. And it's going to be weird. How about... 90 grams coming in clutch. Hand in it. Hand in it. Alright, I think... I mean, there's still a lot of chunks, but now I'm just doing this, so I don't... <laughs> I feel like I'm being real productive right now, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. <laughs> like mixing snickerdoodles by hand. Mix them crispy. I love doing everything by hand. I remember um, I took like a, I don't know, it was like a culinary uh, class in high school um, and I was like doing it with these, uh, like I was in a group with like four other girls and I was like, oh my god, I love this class so much, like I'm gonna do this for a living and they were like, I just did my nails, I don't want to touch anything because the sticky texture makes me feel bad and I'm like, okay, this was, why would you, why did you come here? Why did you sign up for this class? <laughs> all right, that's all the sugar broken up for right now. In the meantime, I'm gonna start heating this pot. My back is gonna be turned to you for most of this stream. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I'm lying. <laughs> Uh, sugar, heavy cream. I should actually look up like the recipe for this because I'm just about, I'm just trying to use um, the recipe that um, I've made up and is in my head. I'm not sure if that's the actual recipe, but I have an actual recipe written down that I should probably be looking at. Page 680. Yoink. 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 680. Place a sheet of parchment on a marble slab or other work surface. Arrange oiled caramel... What? Arrange oiled caramel rulers? What is an oil car... What is a caramel ruler? I don't got one of those. Caramel rulers and cutters. Caramel rulers are heavy steel bars used to contain hot syrups. Ah, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't got none of those. I'm gonna put this in a greased pan. It'll come out. <laughs> Also, I don't know if you guys, I don't know why I think you guys like don't know what milk duds are as if they aren't like a semi-popular candy. Like everyone knows what a milk dud is, but <laughs> um, like my shirt, thank you. It's like a fucking unitard thing, like a one piece, and it's giving me a little bit of a wedgie, but thank you. Um, <laughs> but milk duds are like little plops and like circular, so I'm kind of tempted to just like pour it in here and then like once it's cool, uh, my Tamagotchi. <laughs> uh, once it's cool, then I can like take little pieces out and it'll be soft so I can like roll it into balls before dipping them in chocolate. I don't know. First thing I gotta take care of, polish. I keep forgetting its name as if it's just not a random thing that I found. I'm willing to bet you haven't drank enough water today. That was that was a nice like timing. That was perfect timing to be honest. <laughs> and anyway, I'm gonna grease this. I feel like I should just put like a shit ton of oil in there. I'm gonna take a paper towel. I'm going to take you, take this pan, move things out of the way. Um, because after this, we are combining the cream, sugar, and glucose into a heavy saucepan. Okay, we are doing, sure. I don't know what we're doing, but I guess we're doing the liquid method of making caramel. Because we're adding, normally if I was making dry caramel, I would just add some of the sugar at a, a little bit at a time into the pot. Wait for it to melt and caramelize and continue adding the sugar until it's caramelized and not crystally anymore. And then after that, you add the cream. Um slowly because it's cold and it's otherwise if you don't add it slowly it's gonna splatter everywhere and you're gonna die but this is just telling me to combine the cream sugar and glucose i don't have glucose i have corn syrup because again i don't know where to buy glucose all of these recipes for some reason are telling me to use glucose i don't know where to buy glucose i got a little bit of corn syrup there a little bit of corn syrup here 
Uh, I just put this over here. I don't know why, because I, st I still need to measure things out, and I'm just measuring out. <laughs> I don't know. Literally just measuring out different types of sugar. I'll throw you over there for now. I'm gonna need you again literally in like 10 seconds, but I don't have a whole lot of counter space because I shoved everything over there. Uh, because <laughs> I have a bunch of stuff on this table at all times and I wanted like the view and frame to be of the stove top. Anyway, I still need to be like heating this stuff up. I do need this. What am I doing? Life is hard. Recipe. Did I? <laughs> Did I, I closed the book. I thought this was... Alright, 680 is the page number. Again, I was like, this is gonna take me absolutely no time at all. Like... <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Hobgoblin from TikTok? Welcome, Hobgoblin. <laughs> but, um... 680. I told myself that this was gonna be such an easy TikTok. Or not easy TikTok. Easy stream. Uh, but now I am measuring out, because I cut this in half, 100 grams of corn syrup. I might as well just do it into the pot. My brain is so fried, I have no idea why. I'm struggling, apparently. I actually saw a two ounce bottle of glucose earlier today. At Myers? Damn. But it would be by the cake supplies. I need to, like find like a fancier grocery store because I've just been going to like Jewel Osco and like Mariano's and I would argue that Mariano's is a fancier grocery store but not in the way of baking. Baking, they're fucking garbage. Like they don't got shit. I was planning on making bagels on Sunday or Saturday. I was planning on making bagels on Sunday I think. Um, I can't find any malt syrup like at all. Like I literally asked one of the, like, uh, grocery store employees. That's how desperate I was to look for it, and it just did not happen, so. Like, malt syrup? Okay, like, I guess, the, the, I couldn't even find, I can't find anything at the grocery stores baking-wise, but, like, they have the weirdest, like, culinary supplies, or, like, the bougiest, like, random charcuterie boards. Like, yeah, I can buy a charcuterie board at Mariano's, but I can't buy the ingredients to make the charcuterie board. I don't know. Ah, heavy cream, granulated sugar, glucose and or corn syrup, salt. I need a little bit of salt in here. How much technically? Three fourths a teaspoon. Whole Foods probably has them. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm not fancy enough or bougie enough for Whole Foods, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Like, Whole Foods scares me. I'm afraid to walk into a Whole Foods. I haven't really shopped a lot at Whole Foods, I'm not gonna lie. Just because I know it's expensive too. I got nothing. <laughs> Camera lens is borderline <laughs> dissociating. I am so sorry, I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything. If you have a problem with the stream, I'm just gonna apologize it and pour it in advance. Cause I got nothing. Anyway, we got the heavy cream and sugar and glucosey things. We heat it up, mix it up, get huh, mixed. Get mixed, bitch. I don't know why that came out of my mouth, but get all mixy. I feel like I shouldn't stir it after this, and I also feel like the tape is coming off my rubber spatula. I'm just gonna pull it off. That's yummy. This duct tape has been on that spatula for over two years. Maybe actually three, possibly four. <laughs> I don't want to get into math of how long it's been since I've graduated culinary school and or when I started culinary school. That tape has been on there for five years. <laughs> All right, things have been mixy mixed. What do I do after that? Bring to a boil, stirring to dissolve sugar. Turn heat to low and cook, stirring until the mixture reaches 230 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we're just gonna stand here and wait and do things while this boils. I would love to take this opportunity to start melting the chocolate so I could like dip them right afterwards, but the caramel's gonna take a while to cool down, so 
We're really just gonna stay here, chill, relax. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Rain of Pains, how, how's it going? How are you doing? Five years? That is really impressive for duct tape, not gonna lie. <laughs> I think some duct tape would be preferable. I, well, I mean, it was a cool duct tape. Look at that. It's like purple galaxy. I think I actually still have like the whole roll of duct tape. Hold on. <laughs> this duct tape is five years old. I don't know why I still have it. And it definitely looks like it is like five years old. But it's like purple galaxy. And it was the coolest tape I found at the time to label all of my culinary school. Uh, it Ingredients, not ingredients. Utensils. The word I was looking for was utensils. I, I really don't know what to do at this point again. Like, I guess I can try to fix the camera angle so my head isn't cut off and also you're not slightly crooked. But also, you're probably just gonna be permanently slightly crooked because the floor is slightly crooked. <laughs> Is that better? Okay, now I'm like crooked in a way that's like not good. <laughs> I mean, there isn't really a good way to be crooked, but also, again, like my floor is literally slanted here. <laughs> I'm struggling, guys. Cool bracelet, thank you. I feel like everyone has this bracelet, and if you don't, you can get it on Amazon. <laughs> Are you boiling yet? starting to be weird at the edges. Not like boiling at the edges, but boiling at the edges. Does this work? Is that a good camera angle? Yeah, that works. Not bad. I feel like it's the exact same camera angle as before. We are on Twitch too. You should come join on Twitch. Uh, but yeah, fixing things, doing things, having a good time. Are you boiling yet? I feel like all the cream is like at the top, but then all the sugar is at the bottom. I know stirring would help, but the stirring's not helping for some reason. It's just been a while since I've made like actual caramel candies and not just, I don't know, liquid caramel to like drizzle over things because that's my favorite to make because it's just such an easy recipe of literally just like, hey, take equal parts of this and this, equal parts of sugar and heavy cream. I don't know why I'm trying to open heavy cream because I put this away when I actually wanted this because we're oiling this pan. Again, I don't know how much this actually makes. <laughs> I cut the recipe in half because otherwise this was gonna make three pounds of caramel. Now I'm not sure I can eat three pounds of caramel. <laughs> As much as I would love to try, I know that's a bad idea. Sadly. I want to do it though. Here we go. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on a paper towel and just kind of wipe it down. I'm actually going to also just pour a little bit of oil in the pan. And when I say a little, I mean I want to coat this thing so that's hit it. it. <laughs> ah! If you boiling, things are happening. I want to make sure that the caramel doesn't like stick to the pot, or not the pot, I'm stirring things in the pot. I want to make sure it doesn't stick to the pan after it's in there, but it's also feel like it's kind of inevitable for it to be. <laughs> it's auto mods for some reason not allowing to call people cowards, which I feel <laughs> like is rude. I feel like if someone needs to be called a coward, they need to know. Like, calling someone a coward is needed, so they know. <laughs> I've been a pro cook for 10 years and I've only succeeded at making caramel once. Ah, it feels valid. It's weird, like, I gotta make sure it gets to like a certain temperature, which is funny I say is I'm just completely leaving it over there unsupervised. But I oiled up the tray and there's oil all over my hands now, which is a good time. You know, like, there's still oil on my hands, but we'll survive. I should have gotten out, do I still, where is my candy thermometer? 
I was gonna say it's too late to bring it out now, but it's not. As long as I know where it is. Question mark. I also found a bunch of weird things. Um, a bunch of weird baking things along with my Christmas stuff. Like all of my Christmas decorations. I found like Christmas Eve baking things, so that's fun. Get ready for those even though Christmas is over. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of them are just like random like Norwegian and like Swedish dessert pastry things. Ha ha! Here is my candy thermometer. Yoink. Boiling. Yep, we got it. Yep, you need to stop. <laughs> Please. Okay. <laughs> I got the candy thermometer. Things are boiling, so I'm going to give it another little stir. Turn it on low heat. Low heat. And when I say low heat, I mean like medium heat because my stove top does not do low heat. And we're just going to hook. Candy thermometer. <laughs> Shove you in. I said stop. Okay, so this is the lowest it can go without turning off, but is it gonna boil over? Maybe. Okay, okay, yeah, we get it. We get it. You're hot and you're sugar and you're bubbly and your heavy cream, so you're boiling all the water out. We get it. I understand the scientific things that are happening here without understanding the scientific terminology. <laughs> like, I can't keep it on. I'm literally just like turning it on and then turning it off and then turning it on because I just want it to stop being in this weird, I don't know if you guys can see, like, it's, it's boiling. It's boiling. It's here. It's doing its thing. I am horrified. <laughs> I'm just literally turning it on and off. At what point does caramel become toffee? Um, when you don't add any heavy cream, which is a problem because we've already added a lot of heavy cream in here. But it's a good thing we're not making toffee. We're making or attempting to make caramel. If you can stop being a little bitch. Like it's just, it's, it's boiling. Which is what it said it's supposed to do, but it's making me afraid. Okay, that seems okay. <laughs> there is like the tiniest flame, tiniest flame. Um, no, it still looks like it's gonna boil over. Okay, I'm turning that off for now because I need to know what happens after it hits 240 degrees because currently it is touching the bottom of the pot, which I don't want it to do. But it is like 216 degrees right now. So, once it hits 230, add butter and vanilla, so I might as well measure that out now because like I said before, um, I was going to measure out all the ingredients I needed, and then that didn't happen. Good job, me. We're killing it. All right. Pan to the side. Fear is for the weak. Did I do that hydration? I cannot remember all the hydrations I've done. <laughs> Caramel is heated to softball? I think so, yeah. I don't remember what technically, like, temperature soft and hardball get to, but I don't know. We're not using those technical terms. Are they even technical terms or are they, like, weird industry terms? I don't know. You can cook sugar to, like, hard and softball stages where, like, if you dip your hand in ice water for a while and then just shove your hand in the hot sugar and pull some out, um... You can make it into a ball, and that's softball, and then if you do the exact same thing again, but it's cooked for a longer time, and then you pull it out and you make it into a ball, it'll become hard. That's hardball. Soft and hardball. Anyway, I need butter. I was going to 
yoink butter out of the fridge, but I don't have any butter in the fridge. It's all tempering outside of the fridge, not next to the stove top like I did last time while I melted all of my butter. Huh. <laughs> With a fumber muck was the first person to try that out. <laughs> I don't know, but also thank you, uh, Vendin. It's, I think, the, again, the best I'm going to get that. <laughs> uh, continue to heat you because I'm afraid that if I let it cool down at all, bad things are going to happen. But also I need to hurry up and do butter stuff because, ah, butter, the, the, things are happening. Heal, healing, I just want the butter in here, please. <laughs> Please, one stick. Not all four, just one. All the candy stage terms. Hip of it. To describe the interaction of literally just, yeah, melted sugar and water. Okay, you're getting bubbly, so that's good. Butter, I need 100 grams. Grab my scale. This is 113, so I really just need, like, to cut off part of this. It's slightly bubbling now in like a weird, it is boiling still, but in the way of like, it's not gonna boil over. Cause like all of the, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have, you know, boiled heavy cream enough and or milk products, but when you boil milk products, never mind, it's starting back up again. It's getting boily. At this point, I should just let it boil over. <laughs> All right, I don't know why I grabbed this container. When I know I'm gonna need a lot more butter. So let me, uh, uh, uh. yeah, 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 you're fine, calm down. <laughs> I'm living on the edge. I'm just bringing it right up until it boils and then turning it off to turn it back on again to get it to almost boil. So, tear you out. I'm gonna cut this into chunks and uh, so it's easier to mix in later. I need 100 grams, that's 24, 41. There's also the oil in the way, get out of here. Butter happening. <gasps> the what in my voice? <laughs> You're the guy, that <laughs> I have no idea. I haven't boiled it, but I do have a habit of shaking the milk before pouring. <laughs> the heavy cream didn't pour well. Did you make butter? This is 109 grams. I'm just gonna use it because nine grams over seems fine. Up, up, up. There we go. Put this butter back up here because I don't need you. How are you doing? You're still very interesting looking right now. But I have the butter that needs to go in once it hits 230 degrees Fahrenheit because we use Fahrenheit here because this is America. I don't like it, but no one taught me how to use Celsius, so here we are. There we go. Just how many people watching her cook? <laughs> Dude, it, it's horrifying. That's why everything never turns out the way I want it to. <laughs> like that. <laughs> See, it's just... <laughs> anyway, um... I'm gonna clean up the bottom part of my stove so it doesn't light on fire. <laughs> yeah, I can't do anything right now with people watching me. <laughs> Apparently, I, you're still hot. Let me move you to the side. <laughs> In the meantime, I guess I can eat you up back there. Please don't do anything stupid. Never mind, you're doing stupid things because there's stuff at the bottom. Well, I'm just gonna take a towel. Hot water. Things are happening. I'm trying, I'm going to attempt to clean things, but also 
It's just sugar, which is very hard to clean up. Why are you sizzling like that? For what reason? Huh? Why if you are... Wipe the bottom of this off, wipe off the sides without trying to splash myself. Oh god, bad things are happening. This was a bad idea, but I still did it. Yoink. Yoink. Back on you go. Look at me. Doing things. Poorly, but still doing things. And that's all that really matters now, now isn't it? I didn't miss the mil Milk Dud Live. Oh, you came at the perfect time. <laughs> everything from now on is the good stuff. If you missed anything before this, not none of that mattered. None of that matters. Don't worry about it. Anyway, we're heating up heavy cream sugar and some uh, corn syrup in there. We got some salt. We need a little bit of vanilla. I'm gonna turn you down a little bit. Grab the vanilla panically while making direct eye contact with the caramel. I don't know where the bowl is. Can someone indicate where to look and or where to pour the vanilla? I'm trying to pour it into the butter container. Eh? Okay, direct eye contact with the caramel. I just need you to hit 230 degrees. I know boiling is like around this stage, around this temperature, we're at 217 degrees. So I just need you to get beyond this point of like the boiling bullshit um, and just heat up maybe. I probably could have used a bigger pot in that. <laughs> a wash pot never boils, so keep direct eye contact. I could have used a bigger pot for this, but also I don't. I have a bigger pot than this, but not really. Like, I do have a bigger pot. It's huge, though, and I never use it. Because my culinary school was having like a sale, and when I say a sale, I mean it was just take whatever the fuck you want because my culinary school was shutting down and moving to a different culinary school. Um, get, stop being 217 degrees! This is a good time, we're all having a good time, but also I very much hate <laughs> how quiet it is in here. And I think I fixed it, so maybe it doesn't do like the double audio when I do things, but I really have no idea. Because I had problems with it yesterday. I really am afraid. I'm taking my hair down though, oh god. <laughs> and more hydrates. Hydrates while making direct eye contact because you are being a bitch right now. Hi, welcome to today's live stream where um, we're just gonna <laughs> watch a crazy lady talk to an inanimate object. Um, to be fair, I feel like that's most of my streams. <laughs> the moment when you <laughs> auto mod, dude, I need to take off auto mod because it's just, I, I find it so funny who it like censors. Literally earlier, someone said, like, was calling someone a coward, and the auto mod was like, hey, this seems like bullying and harassment. I'm like, I, I don't, I mean, yeah, I could be technically bullying and harassment, but I believe in bullying and harassment on this page. I don't know. Oh, I'm like, why does it smell so strongly like vanilla, as if... There isn't vanilla in here. Anyway. <laughs> Engage eye contact with the stove to, the, to, to assert dominance. I think it's... We're getting better. I mean, it's still at 
117 degrees and it's just going to be like this for a hot, hot, hot minute. So in the meantime, I'll do a funky little jig. I don't know. A little twist and... It feels like it's not going to boil over anymore and we're at 219. We're at 217 before. It is going up, please! Yeah, bullying builds character. I was bullied. Was I? <laughs> the more I think about it, uh, that's, that's, another <laughs> that's another reason that I'm like, was, am, am I autistic? Because I, I remember being bullied, but like, what? I can't even tell if it was bullying or not, because I think back to it, and I think of being in there, and like, yeah, no, that was textbook bullying, but I didn't think of it as bullying. <laughs> I don't know. Where it's just like, yeah, I was made fun of for things that I liked and my enjoyments and the way that I looked a little bit, but I mean, people were talking to me about my special interests. Like, yeah, I was made fun of for wearing Pokemon t-shirts to school, but people were talking to me about Pokemon, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the problem was. Was it really bullying? <laughs> oh, this is... Awful. I hate this. Why did I decide to do this? <laughs> it's been 50 minutes. It's almost been an hour of me attempting, not attempting to boil this. It hasn't been that long, but it has probably been like 20 minutes of me attempting to make this. Because I usually just fuck around and find out for the first like <laughs> 10 minutes of stream. You know, like, I'm having a good time. <laughs> God, oh my god, Automod. No. <laughs> Allow. We're allowing the term fuck and asshole. <laughs> oh, so I can say fuck, but I can't call myself an asshole. <laughs> I'm really gonna take off the Automods. I would do that right now, but I'm too afraid to look at my computer screen for longer. That, that's a lie. I'm not afraid to look at my computer screen. I'm afraid to look away from this bitch. For longer than like 20 seconds. I'm really glad- no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Fuck, thanks Jordan! <laughs> Gotta catch him all! Good for Pokemon, bad for STDs, and mental illnesses. for bullying. <laughs> I'm allowing it though. <laughs> Fuck and assholes. <laughs> there we go. The world may never know. Do I have a bigger pot? I do, but it's too big. I'm th that's turned off, so I'm gonna leave it alone for a second, but like... You want, you want, I don't even know how to take it out of here. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> This is the next biggest pot I have. It is goddamn ginormous. I, I can't make <laughs> caramel in this. Also, it looks very dirty, but I stole this from culinary school. <laughs> I, it's, no. I, I don't think, no. <laughs> Putting it back. I've never used that before because I don't know what to use it for, but I have it if I need it. So um, in the meantime, would it be helpful if I continued to stir this? I feel like I'm not supposed to be stirring it, but I don't know how else to do this other than stirring it and scraping down the sides from everything that's boiled over. Since once it hits a boil, just, you know, let it chill. But I don't trust that. <laughs> also, thank you, huh, Jacob. 
appreciate you. Stop! No, don't do that. Does it work if I s stir it? Not really. <laughs> Go back down. Please. The stirring does not help. <laughs> so, as I continue to do this, I got the butter and the vanilla uh, stirring consistently until the mixture reaches 245. Um, and then after that, pour the mixture into the pan. Cut into things. No, we're not cutting things. We're portioning? Question mark? Should I have put parchment paper on this? I feel like I probably should have put parchment paper on this. I'm so- you guys, you gotta stop. <laughs> Doing different variations of the swear word. If I'm gonna allow swear words, it can only be singular asshole. That's okay. <laughs> Just <laughs> and I allowed the term big asshole, but little assholes, not okay. <laughs> not allowed. <laughs> I accept the term asshole, but not assholes. I accept the word term fuck, but not if it's entirely capitalized. I don't know. <laughs> I'm making this up as I go, and apparently so is Twitch and the, the uh, <laughs> auto moderator. We're still at 219 degrees, by the way. Like, it's not... <laughs> it's not... <laughs> oh, it is. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm having a good time. Each person only gets one asshole. Mike! <laughs> Each person only gets one asshole. I should just hold on, hold on. I need to. I'm I'm fixing it. I'm fixing. It. I don't even know where to go to fix it. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not gonna lie. I did this. I I put the auto mod on, but I don't know how to fix it or and or take it off. Um. Gaping isn't allowed either. <laughs> Does it be under streaming? No. I don't know. I'll fix it later. Probably. It's honestly more funnier with it on. Alright, well let me allow Mark to say gaping assholes. <laughs> gaping. Alright, back on. It's... Okay, what happens if I just, like, turn it on the tiniest amount right away and we're just gonna give it a slow simmer? Is gaping assholes okay? Saying that is... <laughs> gaping assholes are okay. <laughs> huh. Mr. Carl's into edging. Don't shame him. No, that's exactly what's happening and I am uncomfortable. I did not sign up to be a part of your kink fest, okay? That's a lie. I did intend to finish you off. So, I guess... I guess I did agree to this. Still slightly uncomfortable, though. <laughs> I think I found a little <laughs> Gapping, yeah. Caramel-filled asshole, so we don't kink shame here. We kink shame a little bit. But not to the people. Again, bullying and harassment. I am in slight support. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. I really... What do I do? I'm like, <laughs> it's been another five minutes and we have gotten absolutely nowhere. Um, we can judge. We don't kink shame. That's right. We judge you. Um, but we're not going to shame you for it. We're just going to judge our, you by ourselves. Ah, it's, it's slowly boiling like it has been for the last 20 minutes. Only if the bullying and harassment is for good causes. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> degradation? <laughs> That's when we kink shame people. <laughs> With degradation.
segregation kink. See good causes all around. Round 219. I'm very shocked that this hasn't gone up at all. And also, apparently, it is 10.43 p.m. And that guy has a small dick. Eventually we'll get to the point where it just stops doing this, but until then, here's where we are. Like, you and I both know 
we have Wisconsin accents, so if I wanted to write the word vague, I would probably spell it with a G. Okay, don't tell me to sound it out. My yard. <laughs> yeah, that's how I would spell it anyway. So like, I don't know, I still struggle to spell like the most basic words. I don't even like, I'll think of something. But I don't know, consider? I don't know how to spell consider. Caramel? I know how to spell caramel. I'm, I'm honestly not entirely sure that I still know how to spell ingredients. Like, if I had to gun to my head and spell the word ingredients, I'm not sure I would entirely be able to do it. I'm not gonna try because that's just gonna... <laughs> that's just gonna make me feel stupid in front of a bunch of people on the internet, but... <laughs> oh god, we're at 223. It is slowly boiling up. <laughs> Sound it out, that's bullshit and you know it. That is exactly what six year old me said to my first grade teacher. <laughs> um, I do remember I did say a curse word to my first grade teacher only because I was a first grader and I had um, a lot of book smarts as a child. I did not have any street smarts. Um, I did not know what swear words were because um, in my house, um, the words that were swear words to me were stupid and hate because we couldn't say stupid and we couldn't say hate. Meaning that when a little first grader came up to me and said, hey, do you know what this word means? Um, I said, no. And he's like, it's a swear word. And I said, no, because again, I am extremely book smart and I know that there's only two swear words, actually three, one of them being bitch because my aunt taught me the word bitch when I was like two. I was like being babysat by my aunt and then all of a sudden I came home and I called my mom a bitch, I think. <laughs> Which little two-year-old me did not know the meaning of that word. I wasn't allowed to go to, over to my aunt's house for a while after that. Um, but I knew three swear words. Hate, stupid, and bitch. Um, so I knew that the other one wasn't a swear word. I don't even remember what word it was. But I'm like, that's not a swear word. And he's like, go ask the teacher. So I'm like, I will. So I went up to the teacher and I'm like, hey, Miss So-and-so, whatever my first grade teacher's name was, um, is this word a swear word? And she, uh, not, not grounded me. That's, <laughs> that's not the right word. Um, put me in time out. I don't know. I got punished for asking if a swear word was a swear word. So, upsetting. It was still upsetting to me because I literally asked if it was a swear word so I could make sure not to say it again. But I got punished for saying a swear word. I'm still mad about that too. I want to say it was fuck. I want to say the word was fuck, but I honestly do not remember because again, first grade. Um, also, I grabbed this paper towel to blow my nose, so I'm going to go over here for that because I feel like it would be weird for you to watch me blow my nose. Also, there's just so much metal shit in the way of my nose. <laughs> That's just, it's just weird to see me blow my nose at this point. Great. <laughs> ah, the best of them. Fuck. <laughs> okay, it is getting caramelized. It is like a nice caramely color now. So I'm excited. Everyone's just spamming fucking <laughs> croissants on uh, TikTok. <laughs> got kicked out of class for correcting teachers on three occasions. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like... You guys know, like, the Stanford prison experiment of if you give anyone literally any amount of imaginary power, they go wild with it. I think that happens to a lot of teachers. Where all of a sudden they're in charge of, like, I don't know, 20 fucking seven-year-olds, and they're like, I am a god, and these, child, and these children um, need to do everything that I say all of the time, because if not, they will be punished, and they have no say over um, anything that goes on here. So, I don't know. You know, like, turning it off, turning it back on, turning it off again. We're at 221 still. We're getting there. My shoulders? <laughs> I'm sorry, are my shoulders? I'm sorry, let me, um, the, we're doing middle school rules here. I gotta cover up the shoulders. They're turning, uh, <laughs> they're turning people on. <laughs> oh, my shoulders are wide as fuck. Dude, I am built different. I am. 
goddamn linebacker-esque shoulders. Huh. Her. You guys want to see something really cool? When I say really cool, I mean just basically like pop one of the bones out of my body. <laughs> the fucking, like this shoulder thing right here. I don't think that's normal. Just being able to like fucking <laughs> pop out my shoulders. I don't know. Fun times. <laughs> what, what totally happens? It totally happens with teachers. Are you speaking from personal elitist experience? <laughs> We're at 223 degrees. I need to get it up to 230. This is taking forever. <laughs> I miss being that flexible. I love deep diving into reports on the Stanford prison experiment. It's fascinating for my little neurodivergent brain. <laughs> Dude, I love, un as much as, un I mean, as unethical as they were, I love unethical psychological experiments. Because, yeah, they're unethical and you shouldn't perform them on anyone, but do you know how much we've learned from these unethical experiments? Like, it's bad because some people are traumatized for life and animals die, but... Dude, we have so much knowledge now. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like if we, if we could just do maybe like three unethical experiments a year for the rest of time, I think we would learn, I think we would get back the uh, knowledge that we lost from uh, the burning of that really big library. What was it? The Alexandria Library or something? I don't know. I am very bad at history. I always hated history, mostly because I... Every time I'm like, why do I need to learn about history, most of it being American history? Um, <laughs> because for some reason, like, in um, Library of Alexandria, yeah, I think twas Alexandria. See, I'm knowledgeable. I know things. <laughs> Coming from TikTok. Also, hello, uh, Mimi Muffin. We're at, still at 223 with the caramel. Slowly getting there, but I remember from like I want to say like first grade to like eighth or ninth grade, it was all like American history, and then after that, we did like one section of like world history. But like, I hated history so much because it was just like memorizing dates and like battles, and I'm like, all of these battles were fucking stupid, and all of these wars are really dumb. Why do I need to know these things? And anytime I said anything along the lines of like, oh, why do I need to learn about history? Some, I don't know, someone, mostly my mom would come in and be like, oh, like if you don't learn about history, you're, it's doomed to repeat itself. And I'm like, yeah, no, I, I see that. I, I see the pattern. There's a lot of patterns in society. It's gonna happen no matter what, whether or not I learn what did, like year the fucking French Revolution happened. I don't know. I think that, that was it too, was that history was literally just learning dates and like names of old dead people. And as much as I, that wasn't even like good history. No one was teaching me the fun stuff. Also, hello, Phil. And <laughs> there's a fucking corgi. Love that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> saying stupid wars. War is stupid. We, why do we do it? It's like, we, any, you can name like any war and it's just, this, I can't fathom who thought it was a good idea to send people to their deaths to fight over whatever the war would be about. I don't know. You can't, you can't explain it to me. I don't know how you would. Yeah, history shouldn't be taught through, like, just facts and memories, but, like, that's all that it was taught to me as, and now, like, I'm a grown adult, and occasionally I love learning about things in history, like, certain time periods, like, I fucking love the Renaissance. I've been to a lot of Renaissance festivals, which aren't realistic in the slightest, so I like to learn about Renaissance things, um, but, I don't know, it's just, it, it's, I just learned so much about, like, I don't know, the discovery of America, which wasn't even the discovery of America. Yeah, basically every history class that I attended was a lie. I feel like most history classes from the ages of like 
five to like 15 they're like well you're not prepared to hear the answer and then like the last three years of like your educational career they're like you know what we're just gonna flood you with a bunch of stuff from a bunch of different other countries and then most of those are also lies <laughs> Words are not nice, but they are a thing and are necessary. We could argue about that, but I'm not going to because I'm making karma. And it's still at 233. Or not 233. That would mean I could add the butter and the vanilla, but I can't. Because it's at 223. And we're slowly getting there, but Lord Jesus, is it fucking slow? <laughs> are we are we trying to say swear words again? I just see a bunch of people being <laughs> being uh, silenced by the auto mods. You know, like you on a very low setting. Calm down. Uh, butt hurt people can eat my asshole. Nice to know. <laughs> well, I'll just say butt hurt asshole. Hey. This is the not nice kind of bullying. Calm yourselves. We all have our own options and opinions and feelings about things. I can say mine because this is my live stream, but doesn't mean any of you other people can. <laughs> you can. It's, again, the internet. I can't stop you from saying whatever you want. The Automods can stop you from saying asshole for some reason, but... 225! We're getting there. It's starting to boil. I keep looking at it like, oh yeah, it's like boiling less. Like it's, uh, I don't know. Boiling less or like slower, but then it's just, I turned it down just so the heat is low. Right. 225, I'm waiting for it, please. Like one degree, I, please. Please, 225. God, how many hydrates is that? Oh no. But I like saying asshole. <laughs> Hello, but what's happening? I mean, to be fair, history isn't stupid. Just the way we teach history is stupid. But also history is a little stupid. Um, <laughs> Jordan, what? <laughs> Fuck gaping assholes. And donut holes, nice. Anyway. How do you lose temperature? You are at 225. Now you're back at 223. I didn't touch, did I touch it? I don't know. Guys, it has been forever. Forever. We're back at 225 now, I guess. <laughs> I'm so afraid to like look away, I'm not gonna lie. Apparently, Automod feels completely fine about shit waffles. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to turn it down. Because then the temperature will go down. But I don't, I, I can't turn it up because then it's going to boil over. And I can't look away because I feel like bad things are going to happen. You got any degree? Yeah. Yeah. I lost the game. You fucker! <laughs> Irish. <laughs> now we all lose the game. Thanks. <laughs> How the pancakes turn out? <laughs> oh, the Automon doesn't. Apparently, the Automon doesn't like shit, but it's fine with shit waffles. <laughs> and now you can say, fuck coward. <laughs> oh, fuck cowards. There we go. <laughs> oh, the fucking carvel. It's, we're getting there. 
slowly but surely. Uh, how did the pancakes turn out? So most of them were raw <laughs> because I added, well, I followed a recipe that I randomly found online and it told me to add so much baking soda that they rose so much that the inside would be raw, but the outside would be burnt. Um, that's, <laughs> I got two good ones and they were really good. They were chocolate chip, oh, pecans. I keep wanting to say uh, walnuts. But they're not walnuts, they're pecans, because walnuts are freaking expensive. Raw cake. A good time. <laughs> Love me a raw pancake. I, I mean, if you want it, I can uh, dig it out of the garbage for you, because I threw them away. <laughs> uh, A degree in having a tiny brain, I guess. Lol. Wow, that was an amazing comeback. 10 out of 10, you did a good job. <laughs> uh, we're still at 225. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Huh. Um, see a chef do a pancake recipe, baking soda. Uh, threw them in the oven for a bit after they rose. I feel like that's like a Dutch pancake or like a Dutch boy. I honestly have no idea. Uh, so I can make bougie croissants? Am I just making bougie croissants? I'm making caramel right now, and at this point I feel like I don't even want to. <laughs> it's gonna take so- it took so long to make the caramel in the first place that now it also has to just sit and rest and wait to cool. Dutch baby, that's what it's called. Um, just like a big, like, really fluffy pancake that's usually made in like a, um, cast iron, uh, skillet, stove thing, frying pan thing, cast iron things. How? No, oh, never mind. I never, <laughs> I thought it went down to 223 and I, never mind. It did, but it's jumping in between 223 and 225. <laughs> I mean, it's just slowly getting more and more caramelized. I actually remember the first time that I made like this, because I used this recipe before in like during culinary school um but like i remember specifically we made like soft caramels in like my sugar confections class uh, <laughs> and my chef told us like what temperature to heat the caramel up to and we all heated the caramel up to that temperature and then we poured it out and we waited for it to cool and it was hard as a rock it was like fucking solid like i could like pull it out and like smash it on the countertop and he's like why did you all fuck up? And I'm like, what do you mean? How did, why did we fuck up? If all of us failed because all of us cooked it too long because you, we cooked it to the temperature that you told us to cook it to, that's not us failing, that's you failing. And he's like, well, this person did it right. And we're like, hey, this person who had like actually chewy caramel because like it was like soft and like you could actually, you know, fucking eat it. Um, but we're like, hey, person who actually made this correctly, what temperature did you cook it to? And they're like, oh, I cooked it like 20 degrees less than he said to. And I'm like, so that would be it. Um, the only reason that she did good is because she didn't follow directions. So now you're telling us that we shouldn't follow directions because that's, I don't know. <laughs> Why are you going down? I'm going to stir it a little bit because I don't what to do at this point. Like, I'm just waiting for it to come to temp, but it's not coming to temp. Hit in it. Hit in it. If I stir you a little bit, does that help at all? You know what? It brings you, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say it brings it back up to 225, but no, it does not. It's still at 223. It's not, it, it's looking really nice. Like, it's a nice color. I'll let it boil up a little bit so you guys can see the color. <laughs> Pulled mine early so it wasn't hard. Cock and balls. See? For some reason, Automod is fine with cock and balls, but not any form of asshole. Or cowards. <laughs> Wait, that's what gets me the most. It doesn't like the word coward, but it's fine with the words cock and ball. <laughs> I got nothing. We're back up to 
225. Oh, God. I feel like I should just throw it in now, then. Like, it's at a good caramely color. Again, I'm trying to let it boil up a little bit. Again, no fucking asshole coward is not okay. Asshole, apparently, with dollar signs is also not okay. They're okay now. <laughs> because I allow them to be. <laughs> 226, we've gone up another degree. Never mind, we're back down to 225. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is giving me fucking whiplash. I'm so excited when it goes up. Are you guys testing the bot? That's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> uh, asshole, tits, cock, and balls. I don't know um, what specific word was. No, never mind. It all was not allowed, apparently. It's cock and balls is fine, but tits, cock, and balls. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to post this on YouTube, guys. <laughs> Dick. I'm not gonna, like, I'm gonna have to edit this entire thing out. But to be fair, what have I done during the stream? What have I done in the last hour and a half? Tits is fine. Cock is fine. Balls are fine. I think it's just, maybe, <laughs> where, what is going on? How did we get here is the real question. <laughs> I'm dying at Wiscussy. <laughs> Where, 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 <laughs> right in the Wiscussy. <laughs> Homemade milk. Milk duds. Um, <laughs> it's homemade milk duds. We're making caramel, you know, the little caramel candies that are covered in chocolate. I'm making the caramel right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to dip them in chocolate. Because, like, again, like I said, I wanted this to be a shorter stream because I wanted to hang out with my boyfriend, but... <laughs> We're an hour and a half in, and we have literally accomplished nothing. We're at 226. <laughs> the caramel is actually edging me. That is exactly what is happening. <laughs> what, what are we talking about? Birds? What? Life outside of stream? I don't have that. It's true to a certain extent. My life outside of the stream is Animal Crossing. Um, getting uh, blazed and hanging out with my boyfriend. I can do most of those things also on stream, but... <laughs> 226. 226. <sighs> What's life outside of streaming? What's life outside of the internet? I don't got, I don't got that. I don't need that. Red Velvet's right. Life outside of stream is boba tea. Oh, we're just slowly getting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Carmel, you're such a good fucking boy. Now finish. Get done. I gotta go get Mason. I'm terrified to leave this here to go get Mason. <laughs> I'm gonna do the hydrate. I'm gonna go get Mason, but yeah, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. You're right, Alice. <laughs> I turned you off, Mason. child. <laughs> He's like, what is going on? There we go. Thank you. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> He's like, I don't know what to do or why you brought me in here, but back to caramelin. There's hot sugar here, buddy. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to bring you in here. I don't know who thought it was a good idea. I don't know. But Mason's fine. He's fine. Everything's fine. I think. <laughs> uh, there we go. There's a lot of like caramel shards on this that I feel 
feel like I should scrape off, but we're at 225. Where are we gonna make waffles for a breakfast stream? I should. <laughs> you wanna know what was worse? A child. Also, thank you, Kyle. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh. <laughs> Go see a doctor that sounds like an issue? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh, my fucking balls are rotating. You know that means I'd be dumping. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. I was like, hello, Kyle. <laughs> Glad to have you here. We're back up to 226. The caramel is caramel in. After the caramel's done and I pour it in that pan, I think <laughs> that's the end of the stream because I don't know what else to do. Like, I'm, I'll probably dip them in chocolate um, on like a TikTok or something, but I'm starting to lose my shit a little bit. <laughs> I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Stop burning the milk duds. I'm not burning them. They're just burning themselves. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> it's just burning on its own. And when I say burning, I mean caramelizing, which again, like we said before, is <laughs> the um, fancy definition of burning. I made caramel once. It was scary. Uh, how bougie of chocolate did I get? Not very. Maybe? Unfortunately, I don't have a lot to pick from bougie fancy chocolate wise, so I just got Ghirardelli. Wait, why are we yelling? Why not? <laughs> uh, still at 226. Um, I'm honestly kind of afraid that I'm like. <laughs> yeah, we got the Ghirardelli milk chocolate because I wanted it to be. <laughs> Random Pants was yelling. Was, I don't know, I don't know, everyone's yelling and not yelling. Not sure these temper right? I'll figure it out. I honestly don't know. This is premium baking. I got nothing. It might work out, it might not. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> trying to get this fucking caramel done. <laughs> that needs to be used up somehow. Two pound chocolate bar? <laughs> what is happening? I have no idea. Chat's gone to hell. We're at 228. I'm freaking calling it. That's the best it's gonna get. I'm adding the butter. <laughs> and the vanilla. I'm just gonna add a little bit because it's not gonna be a fun time. Because it's gonna bubble up again when I add... Uh, or actually, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna really boil over again once I added the butter. But to be fair, I also added it while the burner wasn't on. So now this might be a bad time. You like? You like? We mix in the butter. There's a little bit of vanilla still left in here. Get that. I feel like I just got something on me, but I think it's just the heat of the stove top. Because if I burn myself with this, it's gonna be a real bad time. What do I do after this is the real question. Um, where's the recipe I was using was the real question. Um, stir constantly until the mixture reaches 245. God damn, we gotta cook it more. I don't wanna. I took the temperature thing, the temperature gauge out of the caramel, so now it's slowly working its way back up to temp. We're at 216, 217, 219, 221, 23. We're back to the 223, 225, oh no, 223, we're, we're stuck here again, except now I am actually stuck here because I just need to keep stirring it. 226, we're gonna hit a new record of uh, 230. No, I'm still at 226. What did I say? 
you need to get to 245, 245. Open a Christmas card. Rice fell out. <laughs> Must be from my Uncle Ben. Ah ha, ah ha, ha, ha. That is the highest compliment um, <laughs> when telling a pun. That reaction I just did, 10 out of 10 pun or, and or wordplay. Beautiful. That's the, the highest quality compliment when doing wordplay is just someone being so sarcastically laughing and or getting mad at you for telling the joke. Always oh, 10 out of 10. Why are you still at 226? I'm gonna turn you up because like, <laughs> you're not boiling anymore. I mean, you're definitely boiling, but not boiling up and over. Now you're at 228. Oh god, there goes <laughs> the radiator. 2.30, we're at 2.30 now, only 15 more degrees to go. It told me to keep stirring it consistently, but I feel like I don't know how to do that with the like, pro-prong thing in here recording the temperature. Healing.
it, they don't they don't do the the full scoop that you know that they could. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's it for today's stream. Let me say goodbye to TikTok. Hello, TikTok. I just wanted to say that I enjoy your content. Thank you. And Panda does always feel like a ripoff. Not when you actually go to the store and order it, but just if you order it online, like, and have, like, delivery fee. And then it's also cold. It's a sad time. But you guys, I will see you when I see you next. Goodbye. You guys. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Caramels are done. I will update you on that in a multitude of different ways if I can. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and so much for being here. And I will see you guys when I see you guys next. Goodbye. <laughs>